So Radial Array has also seen some improvements this update. So if we grab this shape, we could just press S and C, scale it down, and let us first select the cutter, and then shift select our target, press Q, and under Mesh Tools, under Radial Array, we can shift click to Radial Array around our selected object. And this is one of the reasons why I set origin is so important to have correct is because we want to radial array it correctly. So with this particular empty, we are going to use this as a share empty, meaning I'm going to move it out of the cutters collection to my general collection so it doesn't get hidden. And then when I press one, we are now looking at it permanently instead of it disappearing with every use. So now if I draw another cut and hold shift to keep it live, we can just select the empty, press Q, radial array, and we see that it has been placed. In fact, at this point, I also forgot to mirror it across itself, so let's mirror it. We see that things are just not right because we are mirroring after the radial array. So let us select the object, and we want to move the mirror above the array, so that way it gets mirrored, and then it gets arrayed. The modifier stack order matters. So let's also press Alt-V-E just to get ourselves a little bit better on the viewport shading front and select our target. Otherwise, we are cutting a cutter. And from here, we're just going to shift this to live, select our empty, press Q, and radial array. And no matter how we move the wheel, it will no longer move the cutter whenever you're performing a radial share. This was just something that carried over from our initial system for radial array, but was definitely unintended. We want users to be able to get their shape where we want them and just click and be done without having to deal with the shapes being inaccurate or having to additionally press the hotkey of A to toggle off the ability to use displacement whenever it comes to radial array. So there I performed the invalid selection. So let's select one object, one empty, press Q, radial array, and we see that no matter how I move the mouse, the shape stays still. If I do want the shapes to move, we can press A, and we see that things are definitely gonna get weirder from here because of our orientation, because of our shape position, just a lot of factors that make it where whenever you perform this particular operation, you want the shape to sit still. So let's press A to toggle that off, which is the desired result, click and apply, and we are done. So from here, we'll perform one more cut, and I'm just gonna press B, roll the wheel, press T, Shift to live. You know, we can mirror this across itself just so it's more trustworthy. And then with this single cutter selected, we also select our empty, press Q, radial array. And just like that, we are now set up in a radial share where all of these objects are sharing the same radial array empty, which was covered in previous updates, but just showing how there's still improvements being had with it to ensure that this process is as fluid as possible. Of course, you would never rotate your empty, but I'm just showing that everything is connected to the exact same empty.